Home to 55,000 goldsmiths and over 3,000 jewellery manufacturing companies, Coimbatore's uh, jewellery industry has had to bear the brunt of Prime Minister Modi's demonetization drive. A month and a half into the announcement, things continue to look fairly grim for a market that has now started to reassess business strategies to spur a revival in fortunes. CNBC TV 18's Jude Sanath visited Coimbatore to get us this ground report. It's December, which means it's wedding season in Tamil Nadu. Yet, crowds at jewellery showrooms like this one are scarce. And that's a grim reminder that things aren't looking up for the market. 80% of Coimbatore's jewellery retail transactions are made in cash. And with the currency shortage, that's meant significant losses on the retail front. According to the Coimbatore Jewellery Manufacturers Association, the town's jewel hub recorded a total loss of 5,000 crore rupees within the first 15 days of demonetization. A staggering 90% of these losses, the body says, followed a spate of cancelled orders from big retail hubs, even as it reported smaller losses thanks to a subsequent slowdown in production. There's been about a 40 to 50% uh, reduction in sales. Um, but, uh, however, that being said, uh, you know, we've taken up some strategies in-house wherein uh, we wanted to take this as an opportunity to reorient our complete product portfolio. That reorientation is currently underway at Coimbatore's jewel factories. Demonetization has forced the city's 3,000-odd jewel manufacturers to tone down on ornament sizes and prices, choosing to focus on smaller ornaments and subtle designs. This has meant that the average ticket price this wedding season has dropped from 2 lakh rupees per customer last year to just 1.2 lakh rupees up until December 15th. CNBC TV 18 also learns that this fall in ticket prices has coincided with a 30% drop in orders for gold ornaments, pointing to a slowdown in retail stores as well. Accountant money, really they will invest on gold or not, I have my own doubt. Definitely volume will shrink, no doubt. We were selling gold, uh, now jewellery will sell. These smaller transactions and falling demand for the precious metal make one thing clear. Coimbatore's jewel factories are tweaking the way they buy raw materials and business strategies are being rejigged at a furious pace. In Coimbatore, Jude Sanath.